वेलकम बैक टू केस वेलकम बैक टू यट अनदर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक इट टच डोर बेल सर्किट यूजिंग एन पी एन ट्रांसिस्टर जम्पर केबल्स ए बजर एल ई डीज एंड ऑफकोर्स आर बैटरीज विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर ऑफ आर टाइम लेट्स टेक इन टू दीडियो सो फॉर दिस सर्किट वी आर गोइंग टू नीड बी सी फाइव फोर सेवन एन पी एन ट्रांजिस्टर्स आवर टू सेवेंटी ओम्स रेजिस्टर्स some red color leds and of course our buzzer and our batteries okay now without forgetting our jumper cables now let's start by discussing what is this bc547 transistor so now what is a transistor basically a transistor is a very small semiconductor that is used for controlling voltage or current flow and also for amplifying this voltage and current now the particular transistor we are using is a npn bipolar transistor namely bc547 it has three terminals as you can see this left most is the collector the center one is the base and the last pin is the emitter now let us start by circuit building we'll take our breadboard Uh, as you can see i have already mounted our resistor on it i'm going to take our bc547 transistor i'm going to mount it now let us recall again this one here is the emitter pin this is the base and this is the collector pin of the transistor now let us continue what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one pin from our emitter and connect it randomly anywhere okay uh i have connected it here now i am going to take i have stripped this uh, jumper cables completely i am going to mount it like this one on our emitter and one on our common base right okay i hope you guys are able to see i'll just get this near the camera now yes now let us continue now what i'm going to do is i'll connect our collector pin directly to the negative terminal that is provided on the breadboard now remember this that i'm going to to give the positive and negative terminal of the battery as suggested on this breadboard positive and negative now what we are going to do is we'll take our led making sure that negative terminal is on the emitter pin and the positive is on the resistor okay now we are going to take our jumper cable for the resistor i am going to connect it here and other pin on the positive side where we are going to connect our battery i hope this is clear now i'm going to take my battery we are using a 9 volt uh, battery and also a battery cap now uh, i'll just mount this battery cap on our battery okay i'll take a circuit now to add the buzzer to the circuit i'm just going to take our buzzer take the negative side or negative terminal of the buzzer mount it on the emitter that we have taken now take our positive terminal mount it on the battery's positive terminal that we have given on the pet okay right now the circuit is completed let us check whether the circuit is working or not i'll just place the buzzer in the view now as you all recall we have connected two jumper cables here on one emitter and on the base now whenever i touch this the leds glow and the buzzer make a sound basically what is happening in the circuit is my finger is uh, conducting electricity and this though electricity is very small the transistor is amplifying the signal so whenever i touch it the led will glow and the buzzer will make a sound so this is our touch door bell sensor that we have learned today so now that we are done with making our touch door bell circuit in real time i'll show you how to make the same circuit using tinkercad but please note that if you have watched our previous videos 
you have seen that we have also simulated the circuits that we have built up. but in this video we can't simulate the circuit because our circuit to function needs physical touch but we cannot uh, give physical touch or there is no tool that can replace physical touch in Tinkercad. So this circuit that we are going to build is just going to be for reference. Now as you know uh, for building a circuit we'll just click on new circuit right okay now that my console is loaded I'll just take breadboard here I'm going to take my LED use this function and rotate it All right I'm going to take my resistor also rotate it okay right see as we discussed in the early stages of the videos what is transistor and what transistor we are using the particular transistor won't be available in Tinkercad but uh, NPN transistor uh, it is a uh, category of transistor that the uh, transistor we use falls in BC547 is an NPN transistor so we don't find BC547 transistor we just use NPN transistor now as you can see as we discussed the leftmost is the collector middle one is the base and the last one is the emitter now uh, as we did in the previous videos now I'm, now I'm just going to connect the emitter and the collector okay right I've connected my emitters and the collectors right now what we're going to do is we'll take our battery we'll connect our battery like this I'll change the color from red now to connect the negative terminal of this black color I've connected my battery right so now this is the positive terminal that we can use any pin for providing positive terminal to any component using the battery and this is the negative right so I will directly give the positive terminal from the battery to the LED okay I'm just going to change the color from black to red okay and now I'm going to load our piezo that is our buzzer and also I'm going to give the positive terminal as it is right now what we are going to do is we are going to connect our first let's just say we are going to connect our connector pin to the negative terminal of our battery right now we can use any random color I am just going to take uh, blue and I am going to connect our emitter pin and to any pins that are empty we can't use this pins and this pins because they are connected already to the buzzer so any empty pins from here to here so now what I am going to do is using this pin I am going to connect the negative terminal for the buzzer and LED right I am going to connect this here and one pin here like this now this completes our circuit now see we can't simulate it so even if I start simulation there is nothing that is going to happen because we need to touch this two green wires that will complete our circuit and the buzzer will make a sound and the LED will glow since we cannot simulate physical touch we just can use the circuit for reference material so thank you for watching this video guys i hope to see you all in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you once again